In a world where scary threats like nuclear disasters exist, scientists and engineers have come up with some pretty amazing ways to stay safe. They've built huge and strong projects that can take a hit and still be okay. We're going to show you five of these incredible places, from secret buildings in big cities to military bases and power plants that are built to last no matter what. But before we jump into these amazing stories, please remember to like, share and subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more awesome videos. 33 Thomas Street Let's talk about something mysterious going on at 33 Thomas Street in New York City, right in the middle between the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building. This building, without a single window and standing 550 feet tall, casts a large shadow over the neighborhood. Constructed in 1974, it initially served as a giant switchboard for AT&T's long-distance calls, earning it the nickname the Long Lines Building. Considering it was built during the Cold War, when the US and Russia were constantly on edge about nuclear threats, the building was made to withstand a nuclear blast. Well, at least if the blast wasn't direct. The thing that sets this building apart is its lack of windows. It's basically a huge block of concrete with a few vents at the top. John Carl Warnecke, the architect, designed it to be impenetrable, like a fortress, ensuring it was protected against radiation. It was also stocked with essentials, food, water and 250,000 gallons of oil for the generators, enough to support 1,500 people for two weeks. Nowadays, there's a strong belief, fueled by documents leaked by Edward Snowden, that 33 Thomas Street isn't just an old telecom building, but a secret NSA surveillance site, hidden right in the middle of New York City and nicknamed Titan Point by the NSA. MSR Pyramid When you hear about pyramids, Egypt probably comes to mind first. However, did you know there's a four-story pyramid in the middle of North Dakota? Nakoma is a small village with only 35 people, located in Cavalier County in the northern part of the state, about 30 miles south of Canada. This place has a bar, two churches and around 12 streets. But if you look past the trees and over the plains, you'll find an old Cold War era site called the Stanley R. Mickelson Safeguard Complex. These days, most people call it the MSR Pyramid. This complex was a group of buildings all aimed at strengthening the US's defense against ballistic missiles. It had control and launch centers for 30 Spartan anti-ballistic missiles. Building this facility in 1975 cost $6 billion, which would be about $35 billion today. It included the main pyramid, missile launch silos and many smaller silos with nuclear warheads. The pyramid was made to track missiles from Russia and intercept them over Canada. If a missile exploded nearby, the pyramid could survive because it was built with 27,500 pounds of steel and 74,000 cubic feet of concrete. However, it was only in full operation for one day, starting on October 1st, 1975, before Congress shut it down the next day. They thought it wouldn't work well and that shooting down missiles over friendly areas was too dangerous. It was officially closed in April 1976 after being operational for six months. This was seen as a huge waste of $6 billion. In 2022, Bid Zero Blockchain Incorporated bought the site from North Dakota. They're planning to spend $500 million to turn it into a big data processing center, essentially a huge center for Bitcoin operations. The Boeing E-4B about 11 miles south of Omaha, Nebraska, you'll find Offutt Air Force Base, a key site for the US Air Force. This base was established during World War I and is known for assembling the Enola Gay and Boxcar, the planes that dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Today, Offutt is the headquarters for the US Strategic Command, or US STRATCOM, and it's also where the doomsday plane, the Boeing E-4B, is based. The E-4B is a flying command center offering 5,000 square feet of space that can be used as offices, including a secure conference room, a room for media briefings, and several sleeping cots. In extreme situations, this is where the president and other top officials would manage a war if it were too dangerous on the ground. You could say it's like a supercharged version of Air Force One. To withstand a nuclear attack, the doomsday plane has special features. 
For example, masks can drop down in the cockpit to keep a nuclear explosion from blinding the pilots. The windows have a special mesh to shield against electromagnetic pulses. As of 2023, Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan are the only presidents known to have flown on the doomsday plane, both times for drills. Interestingly, the details of Reagan's flight are missing from the records at the Reagan Library, leaving what happened during that flight a mystery. The E-4B can stay airborne for three days straight thanks to mid-air refueling. The Air Force maintains four of these planes, ensuring at least one is always ready to launch at any moment all year round. Sandman Nuclear Power Plant Amid discussions about surviving nuclear blasts, the question arises, could a nuclear power station withstand such an attack? Considering the robustness of certain structures, there's a good chance some could survive, especially if the explosion occurs nearby rather than directly at the site. A prime example of a potentially resilient facility is the Sandman Nuclear Power Station on China's east coast. Built between 2009 and 2018, the Sandman Station, with its two reactors, represents a significant investment by the Chinese government, costing around 50 billion yuan, approximately $7.3 billion. Construction began in February 2008 with a staggering 5,200 cubic meters of concrete poured into the foundation of just the first unit, reinforced with 950 tons of steel and secured with 1,000 anchor bolts. This intensive use of materials underscores the facility's structural strength. However, in the event of a nearby nuclear blast, the primary concern wouldn't necessarily be the plant's structural survival, but the potential for radioactive fallout. What distinguishes the Sandman facility is its use of AP-1000 reactors. These pressurized water reactors are known for their efficiency, economic benefits, and most importantly, their unmatched safety features. Globally, there are only 10 AP-1000 reactors, either operational or under construction, with four located in China, including two at the Sandman station. The AP-1000 reactor design incorporates natural forces, evaporation, convection and gravity, to cool itself down in the event of a meltdown, preventing the containment vessel from bursting and releasing radioactive materials. Thus, if a nuclear blast were to damage the Sandman facility and trigger a meltdown, the built-in safety systems of the AP-1000 reactors are designed to mitigate further release of radioactivity offering a layer of protection not just to the plant itself, but to the surrounding environment and population. The Three Gorges Dam The Three Gorges Dam, a monumental structure in China, is not only the world's largest hydroelectric dam, but also a marvel of engineering. Spanning over 2,316 meters across the Yangtze River and standing nearly 183 meters tall, it manages a vast reservoir that stretches 595 kilometers upstream, holding about 38 billion cubic meters of water. The thought of this dam failing, especially due to a nuclear attack, raises concerns about the catastrophic release of water downstream. However, Chinese officials assert that the Three Gorges Dam is built to withstand such extreme scenarios. According to the Deputy Secretary General of China's Society for Hydropower Engineering, the dam is designed to endure even a massive attack without collapsing. Its construction involved 27.2 million cubic meters of concrete and 463,000 tons of steel, the latter quantity being sufficient to construct 63 Eiffel Towers. The strategic and environmental implications of the dam's potential destruction have been a topic of discussion since the early 1990s, especially with Taiwan's considerations of targeting the dam if China were to invade. The fear is that cruise missiles or F-6 fighter jets might inflict enough damage to cause a breach. The consequences of such an event would be devastating, impacting 400 million people and significantly affecting the People's Liberation Army, which is primarily stationed midstream and downstream of the Yangtze River. Despite these concerns, China remains confident in the dam's defenses. The structure's high-strength reinforced concrete is engineered to resist even a small nuclear explosion, and any military attempt to damage the dam would have to overcome multiple layers of ground and air defenses. 
This confidence underscores the dam's role not just as an energy and water management asset, but also as a symbol of national strength and resilience. It's incredible to think about the level of planning, engineering and resources that go into making such structures not just functional, but nearly indestructible. What are your thoughts on these feats of human ingenuity? Can you think of any other structure that should make the list? Drop your thoughts and any questions you might have in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more fascinating content. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with all the amazing stories we have to share.